Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with www.learnvisualstudio.net and this is the solution to the challenge that I call the Legendary Layout Challenge. Now, remember, don't be watching this solution unless you've already cracked open Visual Studio and written a line of code or two. Ideally, you would only watch enough of this video to get unstuck, remember? Okay, well let's go ahead and get started then. Uh, so let's create a new project and we're going to call this one Legendary layout and click OK. And we'll shut that down and we'll open up our main page.xaml and I'm going to expose more of the XAML editor than the, uh, the designer, although I am going to set the designer to that 13.3 desktop just to give myself some more space here. As you can see, it gives me quite a bit more horizontal space, especially at 300%. Let's tone that down to 100%. That's a little better. Okay, great. Now let's take a look at uh, at the screenshot. Uh, so I have what looks to be like one row, I guess you could call it here at the very top. And then I have a series of stack, uh, stack panels that uh, look to be going in an orientation equals horizontal fashion. And then uh, we'll worry about this last part here a little bit later. But we know this one is going to be 250, this one's going to be uh, 500 wide, and this is going to be 300 wide. And we got some margins and things like that too. Okay, let's get cracking. So uh, I'm going to get rid of the grid. We don't need that. And we're going to start off with the stack panel. And uh, inside that stack panel, I'm going to add a text block. We'll come back to that. And then another stack panel. And we said the uh, orientation is going to be horizontal. All right, so far so good. Let's remove some of this so we can keep this clear in our mind. Uh, I think the text was lorem ipsum, and if I recall, the font size was gonna be 48 again. Okay, and there's gonna be some margins and things. We'll, we'll tackle those later. All right, next up, we're going to need three text blocks inside of this, or two text blocks, rather. And they shouldn't be self-enclosing. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. There we go. And then I know that final little flag area with the blue and the red and the yellow squares, that's going to be another stack panel of rectangles. So I'm just going to add three rectangles here. And I'll come back to those. OK. So that's my basic layout. You can see kind of what I do. I get a mental picture of the general layout. And I could test this theory or the, this little design by just looking at what I've got so far inside of the designer. But I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm close on this one. All right, so inside of each of the text blocks, what I'm going to do is go and grab some lorem ipsum. Let's minimize all this, open this file up. And I only need like the first two lines of this uh, for this first text block. And I'll clean this up a little bit so it looks better in my code. Okay, I'll get rid of that. And then uh, I'll put three lines uh, in this other one. Like that. Back here. Paste. Get rid of that. That. Good. And I know that uh, we want the uh, the width of this to be 250, and we want the width of this to be 500. Now let's take a look at what we've got so far here in the designer. And you can see that we've only got one line. Remember what I said you have to do to fix this? You have to set the text wrapping equal to wrap in order to get it to kind of flow through the entire space of that uh, that text that text block Let's do the same thing here all right that should take care of that we've got some margin issues to to work on but we'll worry about that in a moment uh so let's see we want the orientation on this to be horizontal and so this will be have a fill of blue and we're going to put the uh, the width of it at uh I believe it was 200 by 200, uh, height 200, oops. 
And then the uh, fill of the first one I think was red, and the fill of the second one was yellow. And what we're going to need to do here is to actually add another stack panel to get these to kind of stack on top of each other. So let's grab these, and then we're going to set their width and height to 100. All right, so now let's, uh, let's see what that looks like. All right, something not quite right about there. This, you can see that uh, the uh, the rectangle wants to center itself inside of the, uh, the vertical space available. So we're just gonna set the uh, vertical alignment equal to top, and that should fix that. All right, we need some margins now. Let's go back here and uh, let's view the, the image. It looks like there's 20 here, 10 here, 10 here, 10 here, maybe 20. Uh, it should be about 10, I think. So we'll go 20. Yeah, maybe we should use 20. That does look like a lot of space for 10. Yeah, it's probably 20. All right, so we'll just go uh, for the entire stack panel. Uh, whoops, margin, uh, 10, and then Let's see the top. Do we have some space at the top? Let's go ahead and put just 20 at the top. And then we'll uh, put 20 underneath this one. So uh, 0, 0, 0, 20 margin for the, uh, the text block at the top. All right. On this first text block, we're going to set the uh, Margin 0, 0, 20, 0. And we'll do the same thing for the one next to it. And I think we are pretty much done. Uh, let's go ahead, first of all, and get rid of the frame counter. Save that. And now let's run the app. All right, I may have too much space here in the top. So I may not have needed that um, that margin there at the top. However, I think everything else looks pretty good. Um, so I think that's the solution to the challenge. Hopefully you got it. Uh, if you didn't, or if you struggled with this one, go back and watch the video on Stack Panel, and then maybe come back to this tomorrow, right? All right, let's move on. We've got one more challenge, and it's going to be a little bit more difficult. We'll see you there. Thanks.